hope you guys had a turtleific day. Mm-hmm. We just watched the six graders do the volcanoes, and that was really fun to watch. It was. I, what was your favorite volcano, Jacob? Actually, it was probably going to be the emoji one. That was, like, pretty creative. That one was pretty cool. I like the sci-fi fantasy one. That I know good. that one was pretty fun to watch. Mm-hmm. And Jacob, since you said turtleific day instead of terrific day, don't you have your very first Turtle Tuesday? Yeah, so as I said in my speech, I was going to do something called Turtle Tuesday, which is a little tidbit about turtles every Tuesday. So let's start off. So basically, one of the, uh, what I want to do is show you the difference between a turtle and a tortoise, because you're going to want to know that once we come back from break. So like some of the differences are, like turtles are aquatic animals, which means they live in water and spend most, most of their time. They can go on land sometimes, but not often. And then also, uh, tortoises live on land, but they tend to grow much larger, and they live much longer. And uh, turtle, tortoises move a lot slower than turtles. That's why turtles get, like, shoved into a box, and they always say they're, people always say they're slow. All right, but... Uh, they're I, really I, not that slow, actually. Nah, you've I've seen, seen my turtle. I've seen his turtle try to run away from me before, and it's pretty fast. It is. And uh, finally, there are di- combined, there are 200 different species of turtle and tortoise. So, yeah, I just wanted to give you those facts, so when you come back from break, you armed with knowledge. I'm really looking forward to the other Turtle Tuesdays, Jacob. Other Turtle and Tuesdays. what you have in fun. store for those. Those are going to be pretty fun to listen to. And now here's Kevin Winish with his very first safety tip of the week. Hey Cougars, here's my very first safety tip for the summer. If you're at the beach, make sure you're on the lookout for the flags, which is, the, which is for the current water conditions. If it's a double red, it means the water is closed. If it's red, it means the water is very rough. If it's yellow, it means the water is moderate. If it's green, it means the water is calm. And if it's purple, it means there are dangerous fish in the water. Here's Caitlin with prayer. Today I'm going to read some more of your intentions. Someone would like to pray for the fifth grade class. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Someone would like to pray for the homeless. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lily would like to pray for uh, Luba that it can be free. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Someone would like to pray for their friend in second grade named... Trent, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all these intentions and the ones that we hold in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O Lord God, you restore St. Angela's sight when she was blind. Help us to see your love among us to never be blind to our faith. St. Angela devoted her life to care for the disabled. Grant us compassion to always help those in need and the dedication to the faithful life that she did. As St. Angela taught young girls to have new education, may we always by our teachers. Bring us closer to you, O Lord God, and lead us on your journey to the kingdom. St. Angela and Ricci, pray for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Here are Jack and Jacob. And remember, Cougars. When you got faith, you got, got mercy. mercy.